So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys all the smithing stone miners barbarian locations 1 to 4 meaning you can buy these limitlessly from the twin maiden husks husks is it? husks or heads? I ain't got a clue within the round table so yes, follow the guide guys to get all 4 which are relatively straightforward to get besides probably the last one and you'll have unlimited access to as many of these as you want all you need is runes how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so leveling up your weapons within Elden rings is the very important part of the game and for many weapons in the game you will need smithing stones now smithing stones can be found at random across the map or well, if you could buy them buy as many as you want wouldn't that be way more efficient well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'll guide you through finding four smithing stone minor belt bearings. You can then take these back to the twin maiden husks within the round table. Offer these to her. Then guys, you can buy as many as these smithing stones as you want. One all the way up to an eight. Okay, so let's get into it guys. And the first one is located within the Rea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. As you can see on screen now, me going from the nearest grace point I have to it. Uh, so just follow the route I take uh, to it and through this cave system and eventually you'll come to the Crystallian boss which you have to take out upon taking it out you get the bow bearing one for the smithing stones
Next up guys, we have one located within a chest in this sealed tunnel just past the Grand Lift of Dectus. So to get this, you'd need the Dectus Medallion, which comes in two halves to activate this lift. Search YouTube for a guide, guys. Hundreds out there, straightforward to get. So once you get up here, guys, just follow the route I take straight through this tunnel, the sealed tunnel, and go and grab this chest, guys. It really is that easy. Next up guys, we have the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 3, which is located within the Zamor Ruins. For this one guys, you need to be able to access and use the Grand Lift of the Road. To do this people, you need to have beaten the Omen King within the capital. Upon beating the Omen King, not long after you beat Phantom Godfrey, you gain access to uh, the Forbidden Lands and you're able to use the Grand Lift of the Road. And once you get up here guys, the very first grace, which is not far in front of you, this is where we're going to go from to the Zamora Ruins, as you can see on screen now. Just follow the route I take guys, go down the cellar and it's in a chest. Okay, so the last one guys, the Smithing Stone Miners Barbarian 4 is located and received upon you defeating the Godskin Duo upon the Dragon Temple. Now this is end game guys, this is basically after you defeat the Fire Giant within the mountain tops of the Giants, you will then go to this spot here, the Forge of the Giants. There's a grace at the top, you need to speak with Melina at that grace. You will then come to the Dragon's Temple. A lot of you guys will already be here, but that's fine. But once you get here guys, you need to take out the Godskin Duo, which is a close boss to the Dragon Temple Grace Point, which you're seeing on screen now. Me going directly to him. Upon killing him, guys, you get the Smithing Stone Miners Barbarian 4. And there you have it, people. Straight to the Twin Maiden Husks within the round table. Cash these in, and you now have unlimited access to as many of these as you want to buy. Again, all it requires are those runes. And there we have it, guys. People, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you on that next one.